today we are going to start to do another flower, but we are going to do weaving. You will see that I have weaving here with different colors of yarn. Okay. We also have the petals, shapes, and lots of different colors. So today we are going to make the template for our weaving. Next week we are going to start the weaving. We are also going to do some painting today, but first, we, again, we have to go ahead and get our template ready. So, make sure that you're listening well. This is not easy, so make sure you're listening and following along. The first thing you're going to get is a paper plate. I'm going to use a Sharpie so that you can see, but you are going to use a pencil. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to write your name. Go ahead and write your name. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to do a dot right in the middle. So it doesn't have to be perfectly in the middle, but you want to do the best that you can. Then you're going to draw a line from the middle down all the way to the side and you're going to put another dot. Make it clear that it's a dot. Now in order to make our petals we want to make them very evenly spaced so this is what we're going to do. We are going to number them. You can see I've already started to do the numbering so let me walk it through it. You have your dot. Then you'll notice there's little grooves in each groove you're going to have a number. We're going to count to four. So please watch. We're going to do one, two, three, four. The next groove you put a big dot. Continue to watch. One, two, three, four. In the next groove you got it. You do a big dot. Keep turning it. One, two, three, four, you do a big dot. One, two, three, four, you do a big dot. Now you'll continue and go all the way around until you come back here. At the end, you're going to notice you're not going to be able to count out all the way to four. That's okay, just put a dot. So go ahead. Do draw your line and start numbering one, two, three, four with a dot in each groove. You can feel the grooves with your finger. I'm going to go ahead and finish, but you can keep working. Now again, you will notice that I do not have enough room to do three and four. That's okay, we're just going to have a little bit smaller of a space. Now the next step is to draw your petals. You're going to draw your petals from one dot to the next dot to the next dot to the next dot. So you can do very simple petals. Okay, I'm trying to draw a straight line, but with those grooves it's a little more difficult, so that's okay. But notice how I'm starting at one dot, going up, and coming down. Going up, coming down. Now we're going to cut on these lines. It's easier to cut than draw on all these curved lines. So just do your best. Now I'm going to the top and to the bottom. Make sure that you are not going in to touch this circle on your plate. You can see it. You could go a little bit higher than these grooves, but not a whole lot higher. You're going to keep going around from one dot to the other. 
until you've gone all the way around. Now you could just do simple triangles or you could do the other, you could do kind of a different line. You can see how I've done here. So to continue that, instead of going straight, I'm going to kind of curve it, curve it, curve it, curve it, curve it, curve it. You can also do something even more detailed. You will see how I'm going up, doing a little triangle and coming down. So triangle and coming down, curve and coming down. So you certainly can do any kind of pattern or any kind of petal you want as long as you're touching one dot to another dot. You're not going any further than this. Maybe your dotted lines don't touch the inner circle. That means you've gone too far. And make sure that you have exactly middle point. Okay, so you're going right in the middle of these two which is right here in between the two and the three, make sure it's going up there. So go ahead and with your pencil draw your petals. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to cut on those lines. So you can start anywhere, you're going to start on a dot and you're just going to, the best that you can, take your time cut out you may, it may be easier to go like this to cut into that every time whichever works for you is fine with me as long as you're doing a nice job cutting out you're using these guidelines to cut it out. You don't have to be perfectly. You can tell that some of these lines are squiggly. But I'm not going to cut in a squiggly line. I'm going to cut in a straight line. So keep cutting them out. You're cutting the numbers out is what you're doing. You're taking the numbers out so you can't see the numbers. So go ahead and start cutting. When you're done cutting, put all of your scraps in the recycling. Go ahead. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to add color to your petals. Now so far we've been working with it upside down. so. Right now it's upside down, your name is upside down, so make sure we turn it over and we're going to paint. We are going to use temper cakes today. You're going to have the normal primary and secondary colors and the intermediate colors here, some brighter colors. You can use one color, two color, three colors, but probably no more than three colors. You're also going to have a brush and a water bucket. You could do all the whole thing one color. Okay, you could do going opposite every other, or you can just kind of do random. That's up to you. You do not need to paint all the way to the middle. I would paint close to the middle, but not all the way. So I'm going to start, and I think I'm going to do this blue. You're going to use water and you're going to have to put in that temper cakes quite a bit to get lots of paint. You don't need a ton of water, but you need enough water to mix up that paint. Then I think I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm going to do a pattern where I do two in a row. Now again, you can go close to the middle, but not all the way. We're going to cover this, the middle, with our weaving. 
So it doesn't really matter how the inside looks, it's mostly about the outside petals. So two more painting. Like that. Then I'm going to rinse my brush. And instead of tapping like this, you're going to kind of wipe it. And you're going to get your next color. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get maybe this bright orange. Make sure your brush is clean before going into the next color. Make sure you have plenty of paint. And I'm going to go ahead and start painting. Again, whatever way you decide to paint your flower is up to you. You're not going to see the middle. You're going to see the petals. That's it. And I did actually go all the way to the middle, so that's okay if you do, if you accidentally do. You don't have to, but it's okay if you do. Again, I'm wiping my brush. And this time, I think I'm going to go ahead and do red. So I'm going to get the other set of temper paint. I'm using plenty of water, getting lots of paint, and I can finish painting. Make sure you don't have any white. If you have some colors blending like that, that's okay. You don't want to do a whole lot of blending, but a little bit is certainly okay. It adds detail to our flowers, some texture. So you're going to paint your flower today using one color, two colors, or three colors, but no more than three colors today.